So unfortunately, I'm recording this part because my camera and the SD card during transfer to my computer, um, the whole FedEx um, unwrapping and stuff vanished and it's nowhere to be found. Just going to do a quick summary of it. So it was delivered through FedEx from Japan Lure Shop. And the whole part where I showed you the lure that I got with it, because they always throw in um, a free lure with it. Both times I ordered from them, I got some sort of uh, Mega Bass Vision 110 jerk bait. So this one was the Mega Bass Vision 110R. So here's the bait that it came with, right here. Right, and it has different hooks than the original 110 um, jerk bait. So this is the box for it that it came in. So as you can see, it says gift. Right, so it's a slow floating. So it's not a suspending. And this color A L B W A C O I U, and this is the 110R. So it's not a suspending. It, uh, it's a slow uh, slow floating, so this could be used um, in warmer weather too, right? Because it floats, you could give it uh, harder and quicker um, snaps. So it's a sweet color right here. Right, I got my hook guards on it. Uh, unfortunately, um, I couldn't get the footage of the whole unwrapping the FedEx footage, but uh, between the exchange rate right uh, you're still saving some somewhat of a good amount of money um, you know like I paid the Bantam yeah it's a JDM it's from the it's from Japan right I still ended up paying with shipping and exchange around three hundred and fifty dollars you know three fifty compared to five five forty five fifty plus tax over here in in Canada it's it's a no-brainer on top of it they treat their customers fantastic you know, they give free lures. We all know how much is a Mega Bass Vision 110 here in Canada. It's a $30 bait. So, you know, the customer appreciation is really good. All right, so I'm not going to get into specifics of the features of this reel because this isn't a review video. Um, it's an unboxing. So, with that being said, let's unbox. All right, so since I did order it from Japan, here's pretty much the instruction manual, and it's it's all in Japanese, all right? So, you know, it tells you all of the stuff, location, bearing, location about the spool, brakes, all of that fun stuff. And, uh, yeah, so I don't speak Japanese, so I can't really tell you what it is. And then... You have the schematic sheet right here. So you have this one, which is mine, just the regular Bantam with the 6.2. And then here's the reel. I'll show you that in a second. And then it comes with Bantam oil for your spool and bearings right here. So they still throw it in, right? There's different levels of oils and different usage from Shimano. All right, now let's unravel this this reel out of the uh, bubble wrapping, and here it is. The gorgeous, absolutely stunning, 2022 Shimano Bantam 6.2, right here, Infinity Drive, and here's the uh, 150 size MGL3 spool, right here. And extremely palmable, like it's tiny. All right? It's extreme, like it's in my hand, like this. Like it's, it's absolutely tiny. And it's absolutely smooth. Oh my, like butter. Oh yeah. So yeah, you have the, uh, I already mentioned the MGL3, the uh, SVS Infinity. All right, let's get to it. Right here. Four's open, two's closed. You have six pegs. There we go. Now we close it. 
then you have the dial it's already set at one right and you have you have six settings which is the max right here all right you have the max settings it's got the super free spool it's got the sd s3d spool sarb uh ball bearings it's salt water rated and also you have the micro module gears it's got the core solid body right it's a hagane body which is a certain type of i guess it's a aluminum or magnesium alloy as well as the hagane gear right and uh, it's got silent tune inside the spool inside the spool bearing actually and it's got infinity drive which the only other reel that has infinity drive is the calcutta so when i mentioned about infinity drive and how this is the only reel besides the 2021 calcutta is because it's a round reel and it's what it is it um I'll explain this one. So it's pretty much um, a supported, the supported pinion gear from the spool shaft, which allows more, um, apply more torque when you're fighting fish to make it simple. And um, the Bantam is known to be an extremely far casting reel and also to have the torque. So this is a cranking reel, right? Crank baits, um, swim baits, spinner baits. This is a power reel and it weighs 7.5 ounces. And having the 150 size spool rather than say a 50, it gives you a lot more line capacity for longer casts, right? Use heavier lines. So being a 150 size spool, I could get around 155 yards, I believe of 10 or 12 if I'm not mistaken. Beautiful reel and gunmetal. And then you have the, the plate that says ba Bantam in black. Beautiful reel. I love how palmable it is. Like, like it's inside my hand. <laughs> right? And yeah, this is going to go on my uh, Mega Bass Levante flat side special. It's a uh, it's a crankbait rod. You can use it as a crankbait rod or a topwater rod, but I'm using it for crankbaits. So yeah, that was uh, my Shimano Bantam unboxing. It's pretty crazy how when I order things from Japan, um, they like to throw in free baits. I've seen people get jackhammer chatter baits. I've seen people get Mega Bass crankbaits. The two reels that I've ordered from them, I've got both uh, Mega Bass jerk baits, the Vision 110. So yeah, there's a lot of uh, customer appreciation from Japan that I really like, which that's why I enjoy ordering from them. Even when you open up the box, it says thank you, right? Little things like that go a long way. And especially too, like I mentioned, they threw in a Vision 110. Over here in Canada, Vision 110 is around $30. I'm not trying to, you know, shit on Canadian stores, but uh, they could take a page from that and show a little bit of customer appreciation, especially when you spend a lot of money. I think in terms of customer service, the uh, the Japanese have got it right, and they definitely have uh, my support. So yeah, um, I appreciate you watching. Hope you enjoyed. I'll be doing a review video later on once I get some time on the water with it. So yeah, um, stay tuned for that, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.